welcome. Let us take a new case of formulation of an LPP. The problem is a company sells two different products P and Q. Making a profit of rupees 40 and rupees 30 per unit respectively. That means P makes rupees 40 and Q makes rupees 30 per unit respectively. They are both produced with, a, with the help of a common production process and are sold in two different markets. The production process has a total capacity of 30,000 man hours. That means we cannot use more than 30,000 hours. This is the restriction, this is the constraint. If, sorry, it takes 3 hours to produce a unit of P and 1 hour to produce a unit of Q. In this proportion, the time is used and total availability is 30,000 hours. The market has been surveyed and company officials feel that the maximum number of units of P the maximum number of units of P that can be sold is 8000 units. That means we cannot sell more than 8000 units of P. And that of Q is 12000 units. That means we cannot sell more than 12000 units of Q. An interesting thing, 8000 units into 3. That means total requirement for 8000 units will be 24000 hours. And 12,000 into 1 hour, that means for Q, total requirement of time will be 12,000. 24 plus 12, 36,000 is the total time required to manufacture all these units, 8,000 and 12,000 of P and Q respectively. But the time available is 30,000. That means there is shortage of 6,000 hours. That means the manufacturing time is the key factor or constraint. Subject to these limitations, products can be sold in any combination. Formulate this problem as an LP model to maximize profit. To maximize profit and profit rate is available 40 and 30 per unit of P and Q. So, it is very clear that P and Q, these two are decision variables. Because our objective, achievement of objective of total, maximum total profit is dependent on the number of units to be manufactured and sold of P and Q. That's why P and Q become the decision variables. That means there are two decision variables, product P and Q. Objective is to maximize total profit. And the rate of profit is for P and Q rupees 40 and 30 per unit. Rupees 40 per unit and rupees 30 per unit of Q. So far as the constraints are concerned, the first is capacity or manners. Availability is 30,000 and use is 3 per unit of Q and 1 per, sorry, 3 per unit of P and 1 per unit of Q. And in the last part of the question, maximum possible sales, maximum, not more than this. But as we are now very well aware that these two are individual 8000 for x. No single equation or inequality can be formed from these two statistics. So now we can formulate let the number of units to be manufactured be P x1 and Q x2 to maximize total profit that is Z equals to rupees 40 per unit into x1 units of P plus rupees 30 into x2 units of Q. This is to be maximized but subject to the constraints. 
the first constraint is capacity or man hours 3 hours per unit of P and we know that X1 units of P we are going to manufacture so 3 X1 will be the total requirement of man hours for the production of P and 1 R per unit of Q X2 number of units so 1 into X2 is X2 hours for total production of Q but availability is 30,000 we can use all these 30,000 units or less. The, the thing is clear. We cannot use more than 30,000 hours because we cannot have more than 30,000. The situation says that only 30,000 hours are available. Maximum possible sales of P, 8,000. So, value of X1 can never be greater than 8,000. We cannot sell. If we cannot sell, then why should we manufacture? Similarly, X2 less than or equal to 12,000. We cannot sell more than 12,000 units. Then why should we manufacture more than 12,000 units? And the last thing is non-negativity. That is, X1 and X2 both are number of units that can never be negative. So this is formulation of the manu managerial problem as a linear programming problem. That's it. Thank you.